YouTube, YouTube, it's the Buffalo Perch Killer. Here for the product review Wednesday. I apologize for the lateness on the product review Wednesday for last Wednesday, but I was dead tired. I got home late and my pole wasn't completely ready. I ended up uh, doing a couple days late, but I did get it done. This week's product review is going to be on this Horton uh, Summit 150. This is the same crossbow that Daryl Dixon carries in uh, The Walking Dead. This crossbow is uh, it's a lightweight, shorter crossbow. I think because of the the 150, and it's a this crossbow is only like a $250 crossbow. But uh, it's, it's it's lightweight, it's short. Uh, let me go through the things that I like the most on it. Well, not like the most, but let me go through from, from beginning to end. Let's see. It's uh, it's got a nice foot stirrup, strong foot stirrup in the, in the front. Real thick metal. Foot stirrup is it works. Nothing wrong with it. It's got the uh, three bolt quiver right attached to the bottom. It's got the same quiver that Daryl has on his. This this bow is actually a a, a bow just like the one he has. His is not the Summit though, his is something else. I forgot what it is, but it's the 125, I think. This is the 150. Uh, it's got the Horton logo right there on the front, on both sides. Summit 150 on one side, Horton Archery on the other side. It's got the really nice camo. It's like a, a, a mossy oak type camo design. Then it's got also has the camo on the side. On the side is all camoed out. Uh, like I said, it's a 150 pound draw, so it, it, it's it's hard to draw with your hand. But I, I added a cocking device, and I I, uh, I customized it and, and uh, cut it down to size and, and uh, adjusted it to where it's very very easy to use. This thing cocks with probably 10 pounds of pressure if I had to guess how much it takes to cock it. So it doesn't take a lot to cock it. Um, like I said, it's very lightweight. It's smaller than a lot of the crossbows. Uh, it's got enough power to kill any deer that you want to kill. It will give you a, a pass through. This uh, the scope I got on it is an aftermarket scope. I, I took the they had just like a little pin dot scope on there. I took that off and I put an aftermarket crossbow scope on it. It's got a I think a it's, it's got five settings on the on a green and five settings on the red. As you turn it, you, uh, one is uh, light green and a, as you turn it, it gets darker and darker. I think that's for the different uh, times of the day and the and different, uh, depending on when the sun is at and everything else, the fire the glare. Um, pretty much, that's this crossbow. I had a little string, I keep it hung up inside the perch cave and that's what this is for and I also, I double it as a, 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 a strap to carry it when I'm, when I'm going through the woods or something like that, I, I carry it around. Um, I really shoot this, I, I really shoot a bag with it. Since I put the scope on, I probably can get two to three, well, yeah, probably about two to three uh, bullseyes out of every probably six shots, the way I got it set now, and that's probably at like 20 to 30 yards. Um, other than that, I keep it waxed up, I keep the strings waxed up. You can see this thing is still in really, really good use, really good good condition. The lines are not frayed. Like I said, I, I, I put the... Uh, the uh, cocking device on it and then I adjusted it so it, it, that works good. Um, other than that, things are going good. So that's the product review for this Wednesday. I'm going to talk about the fishing real quick before I end the video. Uh, all week long, the, the perch, the ice just melted uh, Sunday. The ice is the ice all melted out. The, the fish haven't still come in. The minnows aren't in. I was able to hunt down some bullhead and some channel cat. I know you guys seen the videos with those. We had a ball catching them, man. Them channel cats are some fighters, so we, we had a ball catching those. Caught a couple big northerns. Got a lot of the guys asking about do I eat the fish. Uh, everybody knows northerns don't come in season until the, the first week of May. Uh, when they come in, I, we, we may keep a couple, but all the fish that we catch that are out of season are definitely put back. I know most, most of the game wardens in the region, and they know me by name, so we, we don't mess around with keeping any illegal fish or anything like that so you guys don't have to worry about that you know the perch killer stays on the up and up uh been meeting a lot of you guys out there andy from florida we're gonna we're gonna keep you uh 
abreast of what's going on here in Buffalo while you're in Florida waiting for you to come back. So we're going to do an Andy report. As soon as the fish start running, Andy, I'm going to keep you up on them, brother, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm, I'm attempting to get into this bass tournament this, this Saturday morning. They got a bass tournament at the uh, at the Small Bull Harbor. So hopefully if you guys, if you're entering into that bass tournament, hopefully you, you'll see me in there. I'll be in the, uh, the Black Cracker. But uh, we're going to try to get into that tournament this weekend. Other than that, uh, next week's product review, I haven't decided what it's going to be on, but we will see you guys next Wednesday. We're going to be going fishing uh, Saturday afternoon, uh, what, no, Friday afternoon, Saturday morning, and Sunday morning. So we'll have some videos from that. Other than that, this is the Buffalo Perch Killer. Make sure you guys put the subscribe button, share the videos with your friends and family. Uh, like I said, if you guys talk to me through the comments, I'll, I'll answer all the, all the comments that you guys put in. You guys subscribe to my channel. I subscribe to your channel immediately. All the comments are answered immediately. So that's how we do it. We support each other, and we're going to get Buffalo on the map with this stuff, guys. So uh, I'll see you uh, this weekend with some more good videos. We'll keep the videos pouring in because the fish are getting ready to pour in. And when they come, we're going to hit all the runs, man. I'm, I'm going after. I'm going, I'm going to tell you guys now. I'm going after the perch. I'm going after the carp. I'm going after the mullets. I'm going after the silver bass, the white perch. So we're going to hit all those runs. And actually, let me start over. I'm going after the northerns first. I'm going to be fishing for northerns this weekend. So after that, uh, we're going to hit all the runs. So we're going to take you guys with us. We've got a lot of people for you guys to meet. Uh, we worked out a deal for some t-shirts and some... Uh, a fishing club that we're starting you guys are going to be able to see see all the stuff on that so uh i'll see you guys soon and uh just look out for the uh the videos coming this weekend first killer out